If you're considering moving to either Frederick or Annapolis and you don't know which one is best, then this video is for you. I'm gonna put these two cities head to head so you can determine which one is right for you to move to. So let's just dive right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Eddie and I'm a realtor here in Maryland. And if this is your first time visiting the channel, thank you for being here. I've made it my mission to help people just like you determine the best places to move in Maryland. I give you the market updates, the top neighborhoods, everything you should know before making a move here. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, so we're gonna compare Frederick with our state capital of Annapolis across a variety of categories. We're gonna go over their culture, their history, downtown scenes, things to do around them, schools, housing, and what the future of each city looks like. Now let's kick things off by talking about their location and some quick facts to lay the foundation for us for the rest of the video. So Annapolis is located in what's known as Central Maryland. It's near the Chesapeake Bay on the Severn River and it's just around the corner from the Chesapeake Bay Bridge. It's about 35 minutes from downtown Baltimore, about 40 minutes from downtown DC, and just 20 minutes from Fort Meade with no traffic. And at the time of this video, it has just over 40,000 residents. And Frederick is located in what's known as the DC Capital Region. It's just outside of the start of the Appalachian Mountains. It's about 50 minutes to downtown Baltimore and 50 minutes to Fort Meade and just under an hour to downtown DC with no traffic. And at the time of this video, it's nearly double the population of Annapolis with just over 80,000 residents. And there are a ton of reasons that people move to either Frederick or Annapolis, but these cities are about an hour apart from each other. So if you're watching this video and comparing the two, it's probably because you're looking for a mid-sized city with a culture to it and you're avoiding the suburban sprawl. And I know from my my clients, that's what they want out of these cities. They want to avoid the suburban sprawl and find a place with a distinct culture. And both of these cities have that. And a couple things really define the culture in Annapolis, and that's the U.S. Naval Academy and the water. This town is full of Navy veterans and their families and a population that absolutely loves the Navy. You'll see the famous Navy rally cry on flags that says, don't give up the ship. You're going to see everything in this town talk about Navy football, Army Navy games. I mean, people are absolutely obsessed with the Navy here. And people in Annapolis also call it the sailing capital of the world. And while it's technically not the sailing capital, it is a real contender for that title and a huge reason why people move here, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Annapolis is also the location of our state capital and the state capital building is located right downtown. And one last thing to note about the culture here is that it is rich in history. The town was founded in 1649. So you have centuries old buildings that are well-preserved and make up a really cool historic downtown. Frederick, on the other hand, has a lot of similarities to Annapolis, but a totally different feel to it. It also has the historic downtown that they've done a great job at preserving, but the culture here is more artsy and there's studios and a theater and tons of local shops featuring local artists. It's often described as a hip and historic city, and it's significantly bigger than Annapolis, and I'd say it has more of a mountain town feel than the water town feel that Annapolis has. Now, what about the things to do in each of these cities? Well, as far as Annapolis goes, there's a ton of water activities. You have boating, sailing, kayaking, paddleboarding, fishing, and crabbing, and there are a ton of local parks on the water that allow you to do that. And one of the things I'll say about Annapolis is that if you're looking to do a lot of hiking or mountain biking, there are not a lot of trails here for that. Yes, there's a few parks like Broad Creek Park that have some hiking trails, but as far as mountain biking goes, you're really gonna have to go somewhere else in order to do that. Frederick, on the other hand, has a ton of hiking and mountain biking trails nearby. And as a mountain biker myself, I love living in the area because of all of the different miles and miles of trails that you can go on here but because it's not near the water you don't have opportunities to go boating everywhere crabbing you can do some fishing kayaking floating paddleboarding on the Monoxy River but that's pretty limited now, if you're not into the outdoors, you're probably more concerned with what kind of events that the cities put on throughout the year. And both cities are really comparable. They have packed events calendars. They both obviously have the 4th of July events. They have Christmas events, New Year's events. They have five caves and half marathons, but they do both have some unique events as well. Annapolis has the commissioning week for the Naval Academy. They have the Bay Bridge Run, Maryland Seafood Festival, air shows with the Blue Angels, and five huge boat shows throughout the year, just to name a few. And Frederick has Fire and Ice, the National Clustered Spires High Wheel Race, the Great Frederick Fair, and the Maryland Craft Beer Festival. And these are not all of the events in the cities, but some of them that make them a little unique, that are different from one another. But I'd say regardless of which city you end up in, you're going to have a ton of things to do. 
But one last little difference that I'll say is if you're looking to travel from Frederick or Annapolis to Ocean City, Annapolis is going to be the clear winner. So if you are someone who likes to go to the beach for your summer vacations, Annapolis is only two hours away from Ocean City with no traffic, where Frederick is three hours away with no traffic. And that's a big deal when you're going for a weekend trip. Now, a big area where these two cities differ is their food scenes. And I think a lot of Annapolis locals will really get after me here, but I think the food scene overall in Frederick is much better than Annapolis. And look, I love a ton of restaurants in Annapolis, but Frederick just has more to offer overall. And it's an up and coming city that's attracting some big name chefs like Brian Voltaggio from the show Top Chef. But Annapolis does pick up the slack in some areas where Frederick is lacking, like its seafood scene and even its breakfast scene. But Frederick has some really great restaurants overall. It has some of the best American food, Italian food, Indian food, Cuban food, Asian food, Mexican food, Peruvian food, and even their bakeries and coffee shops, in my opinion, are better than Annapolis. But Frederick does do some pretty good seafood, so if you still want that taste of seafood that you'd get in Annapolis, but you don't want to go all the way there, you still want to live in Frederick, you're not going to be disappointed here. I mean, this is Maryland where everyone takes their seafood very seriously, so unless you're in like Western Maryland, Washington County, and Garrett County, you're going to find some pretty great seafood overall. Now, what about more practical topics when moving to an area like the school systems? Well, Frederick County, which is where Frederick City is located, is ranked as the seventh best public school system in Maryland, where Anne Arundel County, where Annapolis is located, is ranked as the 11th best school system in the state of Maryland. Now, school ratings can be very misleading. You go on greatschools.org and some schools aren't even rated where on niche.com they're an A+. So what I would say is check out both of those sites, check out all the data from the counties themselves, and determine for yourself whether or not those school systems are good enough for your kids. And another important factor to consider when moving to one of these areas is the public transportation. And I would say they're pretty comparable as far as the bus routes go. You have inner city bus routes that will take you pretty much anywhere you need to go around the town, but not so much that takes you outside of Annapolis or outside of Frederick. But the difference here that I see is that Frederick has a Mark train station that will take you all the way to Washington DC where Annapolis has no train stations at all. So that's kind of a big letdown if you are looking for a secondary option to get to work. But if you know you're gonna be driving everywhere or you're living downtown and want to walk all around downtown, this isn't going to be a big deal for you. But I'd say the most important thing to determine whether or not you're going to be moving to Frederick or Annapolis are the differences in their housing markets. Prices are very different between Frederick and Annapolis. Frederick has a median sales price at the time of this video of $468,000. And it has a median days on market of just seven days before going under contract, where Annapolis has a median sales price at the time of this video of $610,000. And it has the exact same median days on market at seven days. And the reason for the large difference difference in prices between the two cities is that Annapolis is on the water and pretty much anywhere you go on the coast, it's going to be more expensive to live on the water on the coast. That's pretty much anywhere in the US. So that's one of the biggest reasons. But I'd also say that Annapolis is closer to Baltimore and DC than Frederick is. So that makes a big difference as well. Now, what about the housing styles in these two cities? Well, outside of the cities themselves, you'll find a lot of the similar single family homes, townhouses, and even condo projects. But, and another major difference between these two housing markets is is that Frederick is right in the middle of a housing new construction boom, meaning that there are developments going up everywhere. At the time of this video, there are nine communities alone that are selling new construction townhouses just inside the Frederick City zip codes, not even the surrounding towns. So that's a big deal compared to Annapolis, which has just one townhouse community being built at the time of this video. And another thing you'll notice in some areas of Annapolis is that a lot of the houses don't have basements. And there's two main reasons for this. The first being that the soil around Annapolis is very sandy and not ideal for basement foundations. There's a lot of leaking that goes on in the basement. So that's one thing. And there's also a lot of communities that are in flood zones, obviously being near the water, that's a problem. So you don't want a basement in a flood zone because if it happens once your basement is completely trashed and you don't wanna have to deal with that. But in Frederick, on the other hand, a lot of the soil is clay, rocky, real soil, where you can have those foundations that you have great basements in. But also on top of that, you can grow grass easier in Frederick. It's very hard to grow really good green grass down in Annapolis in sandy soil. And a lot of people don't talk about that. So if you're someone who loves a great manicured lawn, you're going to have a much better time getting that growing in Frederick versus Annapolis. 
Now, overall, I would say the biggest reason that people choose Annapolis over Frederick is that they wanna live by the water. If that's a non-negotiable for you, you're probably willing to pay the money to be there. But if you're indifferent about living on the water, maybe you like it, but it's not a huge factor in your move, you're gonna get significantly more for your money moving to Frederick, get more out of your house, more land there than you would in Annapolis. And the final thing we should compare between these two cities is what their future is going to look like in the next five or 10 years. If you're looking for a place that is rapidly growing, that's going to have a ton of change, a ton of new things coming, Frederick is going to be your city because they are in the middle of the construction boom, but they're also in the middle of a huge expansion of their industries here. You're going to see the life sciences and biotech industry taking over the outskirts of Frederick in the coming years. They've already started to do that, but there are so many industries that are trying to get into Frederick because they see it as a rapidly growing city and they want to get in early. And Frederick is basically saying we're open for business, bring everything to us because they are approving so many projects. It's actually hard to find projects that they're disapproving in these recent years. So businesses are coming here. Housing projects are coming here. You have hotels that are coming to downtown Frederick where Annapolis seems to be on a totally different track. They're fine with growing slow. They have a pretty robust economy in itself, but they are not growing rapidly like Frederick is. So if you decide to move to Frederick, chances are the population is going to explode in the coming years. And that means that there are good things coming and bad things coming. I mean, there's always the pros and cons to a growing city. Where in Annapolis, that slow and steady growth is a good thing as well, but it can also be a bad thing. So it really depends on what you're looking for in a city. So I'm curious, which city seems right for you? Is it Frederick? Is it Annapolis? Or is it still a tough decision for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if you are considering a move to Frederick or Annapolis or any of the surrounding areas, that's what I'm here to help with. Whether that move is two weeks away or two years away, it's never too soon to jump on a call with me. And the best way to do that, the best way to connect is to go in the description or the comments below and click on that link to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. We'll get a plan together for your move so it goes as smoothly as possible possible. And as always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of my videos about moving to Maryland.